Uh, welcome to our channel. In this lesson, I would like us to discuss uh, biology form 4, topic 1, uh, genetics. In this lesson, you need to know the following. Number 1, definition of genetics. Number 2, importance of genetics. Number 3, definition of variation. Number 4, types of variation. Number 5, causes of variation. Now, to start with, Genetics is the study of inheritance and variation. NB. Genetics explains why organisms differ from one another. At the same time, it shows similarities within the same species of organisms. Examples of these differences include, number one, color of hair, skin color, height, body weight, now, what is heredity? Heredity is the transmission of characteristics from parent to offspring. From there, we need to know importance of genetics. Number one, it helps to explain differences between organisms of same species. Number two, it helps to explain the transmission of characteristics from one generation to another. Number three, it helps in improvement of uh, livestock. Number four, it can be used to treat some difficult diseases. From there, we need to know definition of variation. Variation is the differences among living organisms. The differences that occur among living organisms is what we call variation. Now, mainly, there are two factors that determine the characteristics of an individual. And these characteristics are, number one, environment. Number two, heredity. So it means environment and heredity determines characteristics of an individual. Now, what are the examples of variation in animals? Number one, height, blood group, tongue rolling, weight, skin color, fingerprint, and so on. In plants, you have the size of the fruit, size of the leaves, number of branches, number of leaves, internodes, and so on. Now, from there, we need to know types of variation. Mainly, there are two types of variation. Number one, you have continuous variation. Number two, you have this discontinuous variation. Now, continuous variation is a type of variation with a wide range of differences for the same characteristics from one extreme to the other. That is, it is a type of variation that has intermediate forms. Examples of continuous variation in human beings include we have height, number two, body weight, number three, skin color, number four, fingerprint type. Examples of continuous variation in plants, number one, we have number of branches, number of leaves, number of fruits, we have the size of the fruit, we have the length of internodes. An internode is uh, a place where an internode is a space between uh, two consecutive nodes. What is a node? A node is a place where a leaf arises. Now from there we have discontinuous variation. Discontinuous variation is where there are definite groups of individuals with no intermediate forms. NB, they are genetic. NB, they are genetically controlled by one or two genes. They cannot be altered by external conditions. They are not affected by external conditions. That is, they are not affected by external conditions. We have examples of discontinuous variation in human beings. We have eye color, rolling of tongue, gender, ear loops. We have blood groups, that is ABO blood groups. We have finger folding. We have dimples, presence of hair in the nose or pinna. In plants, we have... Pow Pow Tree is either male or female.
and B in, in discontinuous variation you either have these conditions or you don't have from there we need to know causes of variation mainly there are three causes of variation number one we have a gamete formation number two uh, fertilization number three uh, mutation that is the end of our lesson for more videos uh, subscribe to our channel thank you